Clifford, my big red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone can know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. Clifford. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up the family car. And the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. <laughs> Woo. Special delivery. T-Bone, you can help me find Clifford. Clifford? 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 Clifford! Clifford? Mm. Clifford? Whoa! Ooh. How does such a big red dog hide so well, Cleo? Clifford! He won't be hidden for long. Clifford! Clifford! Emily Elizabeth! Cousin Laura's birthday tomorrow. Would you take it to Mr. Carson at the post office for me? Good work, Clifford. Emily's sure lucky to have a dog like you. Pretty scary, Cleo. <laughs> Think so? Yeah, you're really going to scare Mr. Carson today. Here he comes now. Watch this. <laughs> Hiya, Cleo. <laughs> Morning, T-Bone. Ah, oh, poor fella. I hope I didn't scare him too much. <gasps> Hi, guys. <gasps> Oops. What's in here, Clifford? It's a present. Ooh, a present. Hey, where are you going with my package? For Emily Elizabeth's cousin, Laura. What kind of present? Come on, Cleo, I have to give it to Mr. Carson. You're taking it to the mailman by yourself? Yep. Gosh, my human never let me do anything like that. I might lose it or something. What is this thing? What's what? <gasps> Cleo, what did you do? I opened it. But I'm supposed to bring it to Mr. Carson. You can, as soon as we figure out what it is. 
think it's a flying disc? You shouldn't play with it, Cleo. So you know what it is. I know. It's a pizza. Ugh. Definitely not a pizza. Come on, Cleo. Just put it back. Yeah, put it back. Whoa! Hey, wait. I think I know what it is. It's a magic ball. A what? Ah! <laughs> A magic ball. I've seen it on TV. Really? It sure doesn't look like it does in this picture. I know. It's supposed to blow itself up or... Yeah! Wow. A magic ball. Very cool. Hey! I love this thing. Now that we know where it is, let's put it away. What? I said, now that we know what it is, let's put it away. Okay, Red. If you say so. I don't think it fits. <laughs> sure it does. Help me, T-Bone. Here, let me try. No, Stop. Clifford! Uh-oh. <gasps> this can't be good. At least now it'll fit in the box. Never mind the box, Cleo. I gotta go show this to Emily Elizabeth. Want us to come with you, Clifford? Yeah, it was kind of all our faults that it broke. No, that's okay, guys. I'll tell her myself. Oh, come on, give it to me. I can make the basket. Come on! <laughs> yeah! Okay, you take your shot, then I'll take mine. What am I going to tell Emily? Well, hello there, Clifford. Ah! Huh? So, did you tell Emily yet? Not yet. She's going to be so unhappy. Oh. I know. Sorry I made you open the box. That's okay. Oh, Emily is going to be so unhappy. I know. Maybe you shouldn't tell her. Don't tell her. I have to. Okay. But she's going to be so unhappy. Cleo, stop saying that. Well, she is. I know. But what can I do? Mm. You could hide the ball and act like you brought it to Mr. Carson. But I didn't bring it. Emily doesn't know that. And telling her is just going to make her unhappy. You really think so? I know so. Hide the ball. Are you sure? Absolutely. Oh. Have I ever steered you wrong? Hey, Clifford. Thanks for taking the package. I can just picture the look on Cousin Laura's face <laughs> when she opens it. I think such a great dog deserves a great treat. Be right back. My stomach hurts. I told you she'd be happy. But she thinks I took the package. Exactly. Here you go, boy. Here's a big, juicy doggy doodle. For the best dog in the whole wide oh. world. Oh. <laughs> it's sure great having a best friend like you, Clifford. Go ahead and take it, Clifford. You deserve it. Oh. Clifford, what's 
What's wrong? Are you getting sick? Let's see your eyes. Oh. Clifford, what's going on? <sighs> Is this Cousin Laura's magic ball? You broke it! <laughs> then you hit it? <laughs> oh, Clifford, this is awful! <laughs> Uh-oh. I knew we shouldn't have hidden that ball. I really wanted Laura to get this gift tomorrow. <laughs> you should have shown me this right away. If I'd known it was broken, I could have bought another one. Oh, I know you're sorry. <laughs> oh, I guess it's not that bad. <laughs> but you and I have to go get a new present for Cousin Laura right now, okay? <laughs> then we'll both take it to the post office together. <laughs> and Clifford, remember, everyone makes mistakes. So next time, please, just be honest with me, okay? Come on, boy. Let's go to town. <laughs> I knew we should have told her right from the start. Story, don't you? <laughs> I thought so. He's your favorite. Today's story is Speckle and the Old Wagon. One day when Speckle and his friends were playing, Speckle saw something behind a tree. They gathered sponges and buckets of soapy water and went to work. Now it was time to paint the wagon. Robbie wanted to paint it purple, but Luna wanted pea green. Reba's favorite color was blue. And Darnell liked bright red. Speckle wanted everyone to be happy. So together they painted it all the colors of the rainbow. Then off they went down the grassy hill in their wonderful rainbow wagon. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Okay, Clifford, bath time. I know it's not your favorite thing. Nose, please. But we all have to have a bath sooner or later. <laughs> Clifford, I'll take my bath later, thank you. Maybe after school we can play some ball, Clifford. Or how about we build a sandcastle down at the beach? Ready for a back scrub? Whoa. <laughs> Here I go! Oh, look out, Jenna! Oh, Emily, Elizabeth, look what you've done! I'm sorry, Jetta. I was just giving Clifford a bath. Your dog is nothing but trouble. Boom. Machiavelli! <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get Machiavelli groomed Aww. again before Lily arrives. Who's Lily? Lily Lavalley? The person who decides which dog will be Prize Pooch Magazine's Dog of the Year? Oh, 
I already know who the dog of the year is. It's Clifford. <laughs> Clifford, can you just see Clifford on the cover of a magazine? Yes, I can. I think Clifford and I will enter that contest too. Whatever. Come on, Mac. We've got to get you cleaned up so you look your best when Lily arrives. Okay, Clifford. Let's finish that bath. the most well-groomed dog of the year Miss Lily Lavallee has ever seen. <gasps> you look so handsome. You're sure to win that contest. Oh. Now you stay nice and clean, Clifford. And I'll meet you at the dock this afternoon. <sighs> Clifford! What? Oh, hi, Cleo. Let's go! Let's move! Let's... Wait. What is that? Ruff. What's what, Cleo? What? Where? Don't you smell it, T-Bone? Something kind of sweet, kind of fruity, kind of like... Shampoo? Oh, you had a bath, Clifford? Come on, guys. Let's go down to the beach and play. Hmm. Clifford, let's go. To the beach. Mm. Here we go. What is wrong with you, Clifford? Let's go. Sorry, Cleo, but I have to stay well-groomed. Well-groomed? You know, all clean and shiny and sweet-smelling. My human's always trying to make me like that, too. Can't you see I'm perfect the way I am? Emily Elizabeth just wants me to look extra special for when I get my picture taken. Whoa. Back up, Clifford. You lost me. You see, there's this contest for Dog of the Year, and all I have to do to win it for Emily is stay clean until this afternoon. But you can't just stay here all day doing nothing. It's a beach day, a ball day, a digging day, right, T? Right! Why, just this morning, T-Bone and I got a whip of a big bone buried in the sand down by the pier. Right, T? Right. A big one? It sure smells big. How big? Huge. Gigantic. A humongous, super-enormous <gasps> Clifford-sized bone! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Find anything yet? Nope. I found a crab! Ouch! Come on, Clifford! We'll never find it without your help! Mm, I'd better not. Don't you like digging anymore, Clifford? Sure, but I have to stay... Well-groomed, we know. I'll just stay up here. It's fun, really. <laughs> uh, find it? Not yet. We know it's there, Clifford. We just can't get to it. <laughs> it's the biggest smelling bone I've never seen. Huge! Huh? Again. Wow. <laughs> You're a 
a mess. You don't smell so fruity anymore, either. Oh, no! And I've got to go meet Emily at the dock. Clever, wait! Wait! That's even bigger than my sport utility vehicle. Must be a new model. There goes a brave dog. Yeah, let's wait for him at the other end. Here he comes. Huh? Well, so much for well-groomed. I look great. Emily Elizabeth will be so proud. But, uh, Clifford, you? I better get to the dock. Clifford, wait! You still have dirty! Is she here? Yeah. Lily LaValley! Lily's gonna love my dog. Hola, Emily Elizabeth. Hello, Victor. Hello, Pedro. You're here to meet Miss Lily LaValley, too, huh? Yes, I am, Pedro. But it sure is foggy out there. Thick as soup. Thick as cotton. Thick as a brick. I hope the fairy can get in okay. So, Emily Elizabeth, where's the big red mess? Clifford will be here soon, Jetta. I don't know about any big red mess. Oh, oh. Clifford! Clifford, wait! <laughs> Not a mess. He's a disaster. Clifford, what did you do? Maybe he's not the most well groomed dog, but he's the best. There goes the lighthouse beacon. Oh dear. Oh. The light cannot get through that fog. It is as thick as two bricks. Poor humans. They could be stranded out there forever. I'm sure glad I'm a dog. If the fog doesn't lift, the fairy will have to stay out all night long. I wish we could help. Clifford, where are you going? Oh, looks like Clifford's running away. Couldn't stand the thought of losing, I guess. Look at that. Looks like Clifford's going to help us out today. Oh, wow. Of course he is. Go, Clifford. Be careful, Clifford. Great Greyhounds, can anyone hear me? It's me, Lily LaValley. Oh, it's strange. There's nothing out there but fog, fog, and more fog. It's very strange. I've never seen anything so strange in my entire life. I stand corrected. Dog of the Year every day to me. Wow, T-Bone, your sandcastle looks great! It sure does, T. Thanks, I did the whole thing all by myself. Clifford and I know that it's always important to be thoughtful of other people's feelings and ideas. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is respect. You know what would make it even better, though? A great big flag! No, I think it's great just the way it is. There. Now it needs a big wall. No, it doesn't. Cleo, 
This is T-Bone's castle. Before you change it, you should find out if he wants you to. I'm sorry. Next time I'll remember to ask first. Sometimes our friends have thoughts and feelings that are different from ours. When we take the time to find out about those differences, it shows how much we care. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is respect. <laughs>